The mother wanted to kill her own son. The boy rushed to find a place to hide, but the mother still wouldn't let him go. At this moment, the boy was like a lamb waiting to be slaughtered. It looked out and saw his mother's twisted and horrible face, slowly turning towards him. Then, the boy's cries rang out in the operator's earpiece. Danger was approaching, but the police still haven't found the boy's home address. The boy cried out in grief that his mother was sorry, but the hard-hearted mother picked him up from the washing machine. Although he was covered in blood, but the mother was not moved at all. Even if he hadn't been killed, he would have bled to death in the end. At that moment, Captain Xiaoju made full use of his keen hearing to find the location. She knew she couldn't mess up at this time. She forced herself to hold her breath. She heard a clear and pleasant sound. Finally, she was sure that it was the sound of wind chimes. In addition, there was a dog barking. The police followed this lead. They were able to locate the suspect's address. But by now, the boy had been dragged to the sofa by his mother. Time was running out. At that moment, Xiaoju spoke up to stop the mother. She also finally saw a talking phone. 